Hello preppers, welcome back to Sweet Peas and Saffron. I'm Denise and I share easy meal prep recipes that will give you your time back during the week. Today we are going to talk about meal prep hacks. So I'm going to share seven of my favorite hacks that are going to free up your hands and free up your mind and just make you more efficient in the kitchen because we all know meal prep is all about the multitasking. So if you can have something kind of doing its own thing while you focus your attention on other things, in my opinion, that's a good thing. So before we get into these hacks, I wanted to share some other shortcuts that I love to use on meal prep Sunday. One of my favorite efficiency tips is to use pre-washed, pre-chopped vegetables, like the bagged vegetables that you can get at the store. If you watched my mix and match meal prep video, I'm going to link you to it up here if you missed it. Um, I used pre-washed and chopped vegetables and it saved us so much time. We also used pre-made teriyaki sauce and salsas. So using pre-made dips, sauces, that kind of thing can also save you a lot of time in the kitchen. Another efficiency tip is to buy a rotisserie chicken break it down and use it in multiple meals through the week. So I actually have a meal plan. I'm gonna link you to it up here. We prepped a whole chicken and used it in three different dinners. You might need to use two rotisserie chickens to have enough chicken for this meal plan, but it's just such a great time saver. Now, another tip is to use your appliances. You guys know I love my Instant Pot, I love my rice cooker, I love my slow cooker, and these are appliances that save me so much time on meal prep Sunday. So I can have my rice cooking in the rice cooker and not worry about it boiling over or like having to take it off the heat to let it rest. It's just, you put it in the rice cooker, you push the button, and then you can go and deal with your vegetables or your breakfast or any other recipe. And for me, it just like takes that thing off of my mind so that I don't have to think about it. Okay, and my last efficiency tip before we get into our meal prep hacks is to use frozen fruit and vegetables. So not only does this save you time because you're not having to wash and chop your vegetables or your fruit, for my steel cut oats, for example, I use frozen berries and I save so much money. Like if I were to buy four cups of fresh berries every week, I don't know how much that would cost, but it would be a lot of money. All right, with all those efficiency tips out of the way, I'm going to get into my hacks now. So my first meal prep hack is to make sheet pan pancakes. So I have a recipe on the blog for protein pancakes and instead of having to stand over the stove and flip them and you know, pay a lot of attention to them during that cooking time. We just mix up the batter, we pour it into a nine by 13 inch baking pan, and we bake it up in the oven. And from this small amount of effort, you get eight protein pancakes. They are freezer friendly, they are fridge friendly, and kids love them. So we portion ours out with yogurt and berries, and this makes a great meal prep breakfast through the week. My second meal prep hack is to use your muffin tin to bake your eggs. So you guys might already know this, but this is kind of new to me this year. You can crack your eggs right into the muffin pan. You don't need to mix them up. You don't need to add milk or anything. Just crack them right into the muffin pan, season with a little bit of salt and pepper, and you can bake them up as is. You can also add deli meat. You can add like turkey or ham. You can wrap some bacon around the muffin tin. You can sprinkle some chopped veggies right onto the eggs. And the whole prep process takes less than five minutes. So for me, that is a huge win. You can bake them through till they're like still soft in the middle, so they're a little bit jammy, or you can bake them all the way through till they're hard boiled. And this just makes a great protein packed breakfast or snack through the week. My third meal prep hack is another breakfast hack this is not intentionally like breakfast heavy, but this is a great one. Bake your bacon in the oven. So not only is this way more hands off than having to babysit your bacon as it fries in a pan, but you don't have to flip it and your bacon ends up perfectly straight. So it's perfect for adding to sandwiches, easy to chop up and add to any recipe you might need. And you can cook a whole package of bacon in the oven at the same time. You just have to pay attention to it during the last couple of minutes and that's really all the effort that it takes. 
So some people say you should cook your bacon on a wire rack, but I experimented a little bit and I found that the best bacon, you just put it right on the pan. You can use parchment or foil to make the cleanup easier, but I'm just gonna put it straight on the pan and just soak and scrub the pan afterwards. So I find that cooking it on a wire rack just made more dishes and the bacon didn't end up any crispier and any tastier. I hope you'll give this sheet pan bacon recipe a try. My fourth meal prep hack is to cook your quinoa in a rice cooker. So if you've been watching my channel, you know that I do this pretty much every time. It's just easier than having to cook it on the stove. You just push the white rice button on your rice cooker and you'll get perfect quinoa every time. You can also cook quinoa in an instant pot and this is fine, but I like the rice cooker because I can cook a smaller batch, whereas the Instant Pot, you need like at least one cup of liquid, so you have to cook a full cup of quinoa. Anyway, long story short, it's harder to cook smaller volumes in the Instant Pot. I've actually cooked barley and farro in the rice cooker as well, and they worked okay. The farro took forever, so I like to cook that in the Instant Pot instead. And the barley was good, but you have to be careful and rinse it a lot because barley's really starchy and it can really clog up the rice cooker steaming vent. So anyway, all I'm trying to say is your rice cooker does not need to be just for rice. Okay, my next meal prep hack is to cook things whole. Skip the chopping, just give them a quick wash and then cook them whole. So I'm talking spaghetti squash, I'm talking cauliflower. These are things that can be a little bit tedious to chop and you can cook them whole. And in the case of spaghetti squash, it's so much easier to cut it after it's cooked through. So yes, it takes longer to cook whole, but if you're in the kitchen dealing with something on the stovetop or chopping vegetables, having something cooking in the oven might not be a big deal for you. So this works great for cooking spaghetti squash and cauliflower in the Instant Pot, and it also works well for cooking them in the oven. So I'm going to link you below to my whole roasted cauliflower in the Instant Pot and in the oven, and my whole roasted spaghetti squash in the Instant Pot and in the oven. Okay, my fifth hack is to cook your meals right in the meal prep container. Is this a little crazy? So, I have a recipe on the blog for baked meatballs with spaghetti squash, and we bake our meatballs in the sauce right in the meal prep container. This saves time on portioning things out, and it saves dishes, so it's just a little bit easier. Now, I don't think I have to tell you, but just in case, make sure that you are using glass meal prep containers. Obviously, this won't work with plastic meal prep containers. And make sure that your meal prep containers say oven safe on them because not all meal prep containers are created equally. So I will link you to the ones that I used for this baked meatball and spaghetti squash meal prep below. But let me tell you, this is super tasty and so easy to prep. Now, for my sixth meal prep hack, if you have an Amazon Echo in your house, I might fast forward this part because I'm gonna praise Alexa. She's gonna say something. No, nope, she's not gonna say something. There is no active call. <laughs> I'm gonna praise her a lot and I might say her name a lot. Okay, I had my Amazon Echo for like six months before I really figured out how to use her best in the kitchen. I say her, but I guess I should say it. Um, so my absolute favorite way to use Alexa in the kitchen is as a timer. The timer function is awesome and like if you have raw chicken on your hands, you don't have to go and wash your hands and then track down your handheld timer or your phone or whatever and then like punch a bunch of buttons. With Amazon Echo, you just say, Alexa, set a 10 minute timer and she just does it for you. 10 minutes, starting now. Um, so the best thing is you can have like multiple timers, you can give your timers labels, so you can have a chicken timer, a potatoes timer, and that way when the timer's going off, you don't have to wonder like, oh shoot, was that my for my chicken? Was that for my vegetables? She will tell you and it's so much easier to keep track of it. My other favorite thing is making grocery lists. So you know when you're like, okay, I have to remember to add this to my grocery list. If you're in the kitchen and you have an Amazon Echo, you just say, Alexa, add broccoli to my shopping list and she adds it and then you don't have to remember it later. It's so good, so good, you guys. Another amazing way to use Amazon Echo in the kitchen 
is to set reminders. So if you have a meal plan and you need to thaw something out, you can say, Alexa, set a reminder to thaw raw chicken for Sunday night. And she will ask you like what time and you can set it up. You'll get a reminder on your phone and she will tell you on the um, Echo device as well. Okay, I'll remind you at 5 p.m. So that's like three basic ways to use your Amazon Echo in the kitchen. I don't have a Google Home, but I bet that it does all of that as well. Honestly, now that we've been using our Amazon Echo like routinely for a year, we find it hard when we go on holiday and <laughs> there's no like voice activated timer. I mean, we're super spoiled. I love it. I don't regret spending the money on it at all. And I'm gonna link you to a post below where I show you a few other ways to use your Amazon Echo in the kitchen. Okay, my seventh hack. I don't know if this is really a hack, um, but this is something that I do that I love and it's super helpful. And that is to store everything in clear containers. So this goes for my pantry. I actually have all of my pantry staples stored in jars and I can see exactly what I need to get and it just makes it easier to grab for it. But in terms of storing meal prep meals or meal prep components in the fridge, it makes it so easy for you to see exactly what you have and exactly what you need to get and it makes it less likely that you're going to lose things in the back of the fridge. So you don't have to get too fancy. You can have glass meal prep containers. I'm going to link you to a decent starter kit that I got when I first started using glass meal prep containers. Um, I also use a lot of jars. I use jars in my fridge. I use jars in my freezer. They're clear, you can see what you've got, and they are very cheap and very durable. Honestly, I just cannot sing the praises of mason jars enough. All right, so that takes care of my seven meal prep hacks. I'm sure you could pick one out of these seven hacks and use it this weekend and start to feel a little bit more efficient. So do you have a favorite meal prep hack or like a trick for efficiency during meal prep Sunday? I wanna hear what your efficiency tips are. Let me know below. If you guys love this video, you're going to love the next video as well. I am showing you exactly what's in my freezer and how I freeze things without plastic, um, the things that I keep on hand all the time and more. So check that out over here.